Welcome to Tanks and Vets. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional development. As the current time of 10.32 a.m. on the Eastern Time on July 6th on Thursday. Hope you guys have a good week so far and happy Thursday. With respect to the overall crypto market and the equity market, we're relatively red at the moment right now. Looking at the front page of the news, you can see that with respect to the... Um, the job data that came out today, um, it seems like it's uh, driving some fear mongering going on with respect to a uh, foreshadow that the feds will be tightening the rates coming up. Um, so with that being said, it drives up the treasury yield to be higher. Um, and you can see that with respect to the VIX, which is the volatility index is also up 16.43% uh, so far um, across the spectrum, you know, with the VIX going up, the whole market going down. So let's take a look at the technical to see what's going on right now to see how we should decipher this puzzle as you know the market progress. So take a look at the Ethereum right now with 1873 down 2% so far. Bitcoin's also down 1.55% so far. Uh, and the index front, you can see that clearly we are red across the board. Uh, take a look at the SPY front real quick. You can see that how extended we are. On a daily, we had the 437 reaching to an all time high at one point at 443. Uh, what I mean by all time high is an all time high for this year, not all time high for all time. Um, and with respect to the weekly, you can see that we're also quite extended uh, the 64 out of 70 large separation at the moment, but the monthly it is showing. Uh, and early indications that the market will be rebounding. But with respect to the short-term affectation, we know that um, the daily and weekly are quite extended and bearish. So what we're seeing right now is a short-term correction with a more of a longer months away um, rebound across the market, which is, you know, it seems like it's progressing based on what we've been discussing for basically months now. So take a look at the uh, Ethereum. What should we do? You can see that daily we are also quite extended of uh, 51 out of 70. So moderately on the resistance perspective, but the MACD is definitely very, very extended. Looking at them, you know, you can see that there's a big well hump going on right now. So death cross is about to be formed, uh, which is not looking good, right? So I don't suggest uh, chasing in um, the level that you know we are in uh, i think a good level to be uh, you know logically buying would be um you know somewhere around 1850 1835 you know somewhere around the consolidation zone to 1750 which would be the frame of spectrum that you should be thinking about dollar cost averaging at um and with respect to the level of reach down we are the 51 right where's the resistance level coming down to somewhere around 29 which is the bottom on the resistance perspective uh, so that translates somewhere around again, right? 1850 to 70, 1750 to 1650 respectively. On the weekly, you can see that we are quite stale, not really moving up or down, which is logical. Uh, we are just kind of moving on a sideway fashion for quite some time. 1850, 1750, 1650, it's basically this $200 bar, um, margin of spectrum. So not really a big range of movements. Uh, but again, with respect to the monthly, we are indicating a bull run coming. But again, months away, sometimes October, November, right, September, um, you could see that the Golden Cross is clearly being formed at 50 out of 70 with this uh, large separation that we've been forming, but fusing together slowly. So it, it is about to take off, which is a good sign. Uh, but obviously in the near term, again, right, just to regurgitate, daily and weekly are both quite bearish. So... Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, across the whole tech sector is also getting hindered right now. You can see that across many other small cap um, and large cap tech stocks are getting blown up at the moment right now, uh, which is fairly logical, right? With this um, post-mortem effects from the uh, FOMC meeting, from the job reports, with the um, the rate heights for foreshadow, which you know to this day is like it's more of a fear mongering at the moment because. Um, ultimately, we cannot really predict what they're going to be doing. They kind of take a more of a um, reactive perspective rather than a proactive perspective. So we'll see how that goes. But on a technical and the fundamental perspective, we are going exactly according to plan, which is uh, nothing to be fair of. So, um, so I feel relatively comfortable uh, proceeding with the methodology that we have laid out so far. So appreciate you. Have a good day. And I'll check you on the next one. Take care. Bye.